Alrighty then, it would appear that everything is functional, so I'm just going to jump straight back into it. Hello there, Teeny Boy here, and welcome back to No Man's Sky. Now, I made this brew like 10, 15 minutes ago, so quite frankly, it's 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 doing it's doing its thing, it's doing all right. Right, inventory chat. Is there anything I need to get rid of? Is there anything I need to get rid of? No, I think I stole everything, didn't I? Um, magnetic resonator, wiring loom. That's what I need. Wiring loom. Let me go get that right now. Right in there. Let's have a look. Um, so, where are you? I know I need. I need the two. And I need you. Right. I know I need that much. And to be honest, I might as well just keep the damn thing. Keep whatever's left. 21 million. I could have sworn I had less than that. I saw. Am I going crazy? I could have sworn I had like 4 million at the end of, at the, end of the last one. Am I going crazy? Alright, whatever. Right. So, again, this is all something that we can do. Stress signal. We'll sort all those out at some point. But for the time being, we need... What do I need? Oh, yeah. Um, we need to repair all of this because it went wrong again. Oh, damn it. All right. Um, sure. Yeah, mate. Uh, that's all that. Right. Okay, cool. So, this thing's fully repaired again, which is lovely. Do I now have any... What I do. Right. You know what? You can go over there. That's fine. So... What am I doing here? I need to sell those things. I remember, I need to sell these, uh, do I? Suspicious, yeah, because I, relo I reloaded, didn't I? But, like, I didn't actually have anything there. Uh, intro knife module, what does the, what's the intro knife good at again? If I do that, hang on. Um, no, no, no. Wait, phase beam, where are you? Uh, recharge uses, uh, shields. Leaching energy from target shield systems. Yeah, but it doesn't really do any damage. That's the problem. Um, Sublight. Do I not have that? Oh my goodness. I need to do that. I need to put these things on. Oh my goodness. Really? Oh damn. Okay. Yeah, I need to, I need to upgrade that. Um, sure. Get those upgrades on it. Uh, intra knife accelerator. Uh, extremely effective against unshielded starship hulls. I don't really need... That's the thing. Is I don't really need... I need I need the things that get rid of shields because, I mean, like... Uh, so, like, this thing's good, for example, against unshielded targets. Um, highly effective against unshielded targets. Yeah. Um, uh, extreme destruction at close range. Peak damage potential, 1,500. Peak damage potential on shield is 500. Peak damage potential, right? But see, is that if I no? Okay, right. Um, damage potential. How does damage potential actually work for my ship? Like, what I mean by that is that is that like is that? Because uh, I mean, like, is the peak damage potential? Because it says here, like, like, you know, the peak damage potential is is such and such a thing. But then over here it says like what three seventy five. Like, is that the amount of damage? Do, do, do my weapons do more damage the higher that is? But th that's going up there. But like the weapons, what I mean is that the weapons increase that. Hmm. Damn, this is confusing. Alright, oh well. Um. How, how are you doing? Alright, I should probably... I feel like I want to buy and sell a bunch of uh, ships just to see what I can get away with there. Uh, it's like hyperdrive range. Yeah, you know, like I'll have to... Whoa. Damn. Um, yeah, I mean, like, that's the thing. Is that, look, look, the amount of... We're, we're getting so much now of, out of this. This, this is not going to run out for a while. Um, uh, technology supercharged. Yeah, it's just... It's, it's great, isn't it? Being able to, to go that far is amazing. Um, again, I need to get some more X... X, um, uh, more X upgrades. How much, wait, hang on, I need to check this. How much more powerful can an X upgrade be? Uh, oh my goodness. Oh, a couple of people liking the, the liking this, uh, liking the going live tweet. Uh, Lunar and Blossom Herd. Why, thank you. Okay, no. Right, so, uh, no man's sky. How much more powerful is an X upgrade? Uh, S versus X. S are consistently the top tier modules, but rarely an X is a better stat. I once had a 
boost pulse drive x module and they're usually like 30% anyway um, can be a lot better but the spread of their effectiveness can vary from low to high if you get a top of the range x upgrade it may be because um, that's like the trade off with x like if you get the s upgrades then they're like consistently good but x has the potential to be better but it also has the potential to be worse like that's the, that's the problem there um, uh, yeah they can go from worst to best from from the worst to best which is, is basically how you have to describe them um, uh, but how high or low an S class can go compared to an X class varies no, no it doesn't because an S class is consistently it's like the same upgrade every time um, uh, really bad X tier stuff it does seem that if you go with the really expensive buys they tend to pan out better in the long run uh, you probably spend a lot more getting some good ones but most of us have money to burn at some point in the game the big advantage of X class add-ons is that you can pack up the hazard shield add-ons uh, there is nothing like them in any other classes. In any of the other classes. Oh, you can. Oh, wait. You can pick up the hazard uh, shield add-ons. Uh, they give random percentage protections against various planet hazard, uh, hazards. Some turn out better than others, but they are a unique set. I'm not even sure what a lot of that meant. Um, uh, oh. Oh, unique stats. I didn't know that they had unique stats. For example, an S-Class Pulse Drive Tech ranges 20 efficiency, 5 12 maneuverability, and 10 to 15% boost, um, and will always have all three stats, while an X-Class ranges uh, 5 to 20, uh, 5 25 uh, efficiency, uh, 0 out of 14 um, maneuverability, um, and 0 to 20 in terms of, uh, oh, and 0 out of 20, 0 out of 20 boost, yeah, okay. Um. Oh, X class isn't even that much better, really. Okay. Damn. The maximum. So it's a, in deflector shield upgrades. C class. Uh, so S class are always thirty, which is it makes sense with what we've got. Um. Well, X class range from uh, the maximum is thirty-seven point five. So they're not even that much better. Like if I was to somehow get three X class upgrades. Uh, that were thirty-seven and a half percent. Like that wouldn't even be better than what I have, you know. That'd be like we're looking at an increase of twenty-two and a half percent, you know. And it's like right. That's not even get, like getting maxing out all three X-class upgrades for deflector shields wouldn't even give me the equivalent of an of another S-class upgrade. That's not even that good. Damn. Really. Uh. Uh, uh, oh, okay. Oh, so it's not actually luck, it's just that whether or not you get a good roll or a bad roll is dependent on how many times you've gotten an X mod in the first place. Okay. Um,. I've never gotten an X-tier module that even came close to my S-class ones, or even A-class. To me, they are a complete waste of time and resources. If I didn't like searching derelict ships, I wouldn't even bother with the scrap dealer. I'm also hoping that I will eventually get another ship that the, uh, than the A-12. I'd like to get a guy other than Chief Engineer Ryan's pass, uh, pass Guard with another... I'd like to get a guy other than Chief Engineer Ryan's Pass Guard. What? With another mystery as to what destroyed the ship. Oh, right, okay, he's talking about the lore of the derelicts, okay. Uh, and I want there to be some kind of danger besides freezing to death. There needs to be a reason I have my gun out besides shooting barrels. Sure. The x upgrade can be a lot better, but the spread... Okay, sure. Uh, if you have three that can have a cumulative effect, that makes a difference. Yet yeah, barely. Like, getting three... No, it's not a lot better. Getting th get Getting the equivalent amount of X-upgrades to... Like get, getting three X X class upgrades doesn't even provide you with the same amount as a fourth S class upgrade. Like they're not that much better. They're really not. Um, like that wouldn't be too much of a problem if getting X class upgrades to be that powerful in the first place wasn't astronomically like grindy. 
Like, it's just not worth the time and effort. Uh, always buy one if you can. When get an NPC trader, you can. Uh, contact you uh, or when you see them for sale. That you might not get a top tier, but you can increase your chance if you do buy them frequently. Yeah, it's tires are arguably more of an end game item when you have more nights and you know what to do with. Black market gear was always dodgy and not always cheap, which is why the items effectiveness varied so dramatically. Uh, as you play, every so often make a game save. Then if the game the, the is really rubbish, you can reload your save and save a few nights for another day. I've never got an next tip. Wait. Then stop going to the same systems derelict. No, because that's not how those roll. That's not how that works. It is, is one guy's quoted the guy who said that he's never got an X tier module that came even close to his S class ones, uh, and he says then stop going to the same systems derelict. That's not how it works. Like you get an X class upgrade and you, you, it doesn't have a value attached to it until you open it. So that's why you can reload. It. That's why you can save scum your your X your X tier upgrades. Um, because you can just keep reloading the saves to get a different value each time. Um, uh, a bunch of nice, I know what to do with them. Yeah, but they're not even good. Like, less difficult, great, last things, this could be old. Hang on, right, so. Um, best X, wait, no, come on. No Man's Sky. Best X, uh, best X tier starship. No, Starship? Starship Shield. Deflect Shield upgrade. Uh, no, come on, just give, me, just give me a value. Just one thing, come on. Um, you've gotten... No, this is a lie. He's gotten a night... No, no, no. I've, 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 I've gotten something that's wrong here with, with what, what's been teased to me here. Someone's just said that they've got a 92% shield boost from one C-class upgrade. That's a lie. C-class upgrade. No. Okay. An X... Uh, wait, sorry. An S-class gives you 30%, but a C-class gave you 90%. No. That's just a lie. Um, shield strength, 90%. Uh, 80 to 90%. Wait. 2... 1 to 2... What are you talking about? What... What is this image? This image doesn't even make sense. Oh, right, okay, I see what it's going for. Uh, okay. Yeah, but see, that's the problem. Right, okay, so what I'm getting here is that if we look at the shield strength for, like, your exosuit, um, it's, it's saying, right, so there's a bar for S class and there's a bar for uh, for X class. The maximum, um, the maximum, uh, what? Shield strength eighty to ninety percent. No, it doesn't give you. Right, stop for a second. No, I need to pilot back in for a second. Hang on. Whoa. Oh, right. Okay, that's it. Are they pretty effective? That probably. They do that all the time. Um. Right. Yeah. Yeah, it don't. This is wrong. This this is this is wrong. It's not. I, something's going horribly wrong here. Because right, first of all, you need to. Uh, Thirty-one. Right, you're still glitch. You consumed two, but you didn't even recharge it by two. You traitor! How dare you? Something's going on there. Yeah, I need. I do need to do that. I need to get the cobalt. I need to not forget the cobalt. Um. How many shield upgrades do I even have here? Yeah, see that's that's giving us thirty one percent. This is wrong. The um it's saying that the X it's saying that an S class upgrade here gives you ninety percent shield, but it doesn't give you ninety percent shield, but it just doesn't. And I'm pretty sure I was playing the game when Origins came out, and it definitely didn't do it then either. Um Okay. There we go. Deflect a shield on your ship. Um Deflect shield on your ship. Yeah, again, it gives you a, the deflect shield on your ship gives you thirty-seven. Uh, it gives you thirty percent with an S-class upgrade, but the, uh, yeah, but that shit. The X-class upgrade is not nearly as good as it needs to be, considering how rare they are. It's not. 
There's no, there's no point in me getting an S class upgrade. Like we're not, like the boost that we're getting is barely better. If I was to swap all of these out for the best possible X class upgrade, it wouldn't even be, it wouldn't even be, the equivalent of a fourth upgrade. Like it's not, they're not good. These X class upgrades are not good. Um, there's no point in them. Like thirty-seven and a thir like thirty-seven percent per upgrade, th thirty-seven and a half percent per upgrade. It's like right, that totals that doesn't even that doesn't even count to a fourth upgrade. That's the thing. It's like if I pack if I pack these up for a second, if I pack these up for a second, right? Let me let me let me look at this. Uh, technology supercharge. That's been supercharged the entire time as well. Are you kidding me? All right. Um, right. So right. So we are at 198.2 percent. Okay. All right. Cool. So if I could, no, 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 no. If I got you. Right. Uh, 30 percent. Yeah. Um. Uh. uh Wait, what, what, what do you say? A minute ago. Right, 246.6. Yeah, so it's gone up by like not even, ju just about 50. Just about 50, yeah. Just about 50. And then, um. And what about you? You've gone up by not even another 50. It goes down each time. Hmm. Yeah, the amount that it goes up each the amount that it goes up each time is is, is worse. That's bad. that's not even gone up by twenty. Now that's part of the problem there. That that now that's part of where the problem comes in. Especially if we're talking about these S class upgrades. Then just not uh, these X class upgrades, like that thirty seven percent, that that extra twenty percent that we're looking at, doesn't even go up by twenty percent of the original number. Wait, why would it be going down? I don't get it. Why would the amount that we're getting boosted by be going down? It should be going up. If the amount of upgrades. It's not. It's not giving us thirty percent of the current upgraded value because then it would be going up by more. It'd be leaping up. So it's little. There's literally just a hard cap on your shields. Are you kidding me? I could. I guess I could understand that mechanic being there before they implemented difficulty options, but now that's ridiculous. I mean, not that it stopped the game from being ridiculous, e ridiculously easy anyway, but um, back when difficulty wasn't a thing. Wait, okay. It's like, yeah, so we pat this up. 296. Yes, yeah, so that's not even 20. That, that's not even 20 that it's gone up by. Oh my goodness, who on earth is this? Uh, Susan, uh, Susan Art. Uh, Susanna Art uh, ha has become a challenger. Why, thank you. Uh, hey, what's up? Uh, not much. I'm just trying to essentially do the math here on uh, No Man's Sky. I'm just trying to establish whether it would even be whether it would even be a point in me getting X class upgrades. So far, it is not looking good. There does not seem to be a point. Um, I'm just trying to establish. I'm trying to like figure out how to make my shield stronger than three than the maximum amount of S class upgrades. My day is going splendidful as always. Thanks. Uh, what about you? How's your day going? How are you doing? Uh, it's like yeah. If I upgrade you again, so two forty six. Yeah, that doesn't go up by 30. So that goes up by less than 30, and then this goes up by less than 20. Like, damn. Wait, does it go up by less than 20? Wait. Oh, it goes up by ever slightly more than 20. Yeah, it's like 22. Um, anyway. Uh, okay, right. So here's the thing. 296. Okay, 300. Now, what if we did this instead? Three, three hundred and seven. Yeah, we figured. Right, so what we need to do, wait. 
Why? Why has that happened? Um, uh, well, do you have all the stuff for your Twitch page, like logo banner, uh, like logo banner overlay, sub badges, emotes, intro and uh, intro and out, anim outro animation, etc. Uh, I am absolutely fine on all that front. Why? Thank you very much. Um, there we go. Also, might I suggest uh, grammar? Um, it, it it looks less like a copy and paste. It it, it just looks more presentable. Um, yeah. Anyway, how are we improving this now? Like if I put you right, so three oh six, three oh eight. Right, I can do better than this. Come on. If I move you down here, if I move you. Right. Why is that gone that way? Oh, I see. Uh, I can make some cool. Um, I can make some cool and custom stuff for, uh, for your stream, as per your requirement. Would you like to see some of my previous work? Uh, no, thank you. I'm completely fine. Um, the, hmm. What if I was no? If you want to go over, here. no. Come on, give me you. Right. over there. 307, no. Right, 30... Oh, okay, right, so 308.8, that's what we're going to try and beat. There we go. What, how pointless that was, right. 309.4. Nope, no, okay, no. Uh, <laughs> right, so if I automatic oh, recharging, I don't even think that really matters to be perfectly honest. Right. No, I didn't change anything about the ship. Um, I do intend to do things today, by the way. Uh, slow frames are doing fine, so I, 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 I do. I don't intend on just, on just uh, avoiding everything. Yeah, launch thrusters. Hmm. It's like if we have a set of four, that's when things get interesting. But if not, that's when they start getting problematic. I feel like maybe I need to buy a new ship or something. I think I need a bigger ship. Excuse me. Highest. Right, come on, let's. I'm gonna look this up. No man's sky. Highest uh, shield. Highest sh starship shield. Shield. Default shield upgrade. Starship upgrade. Um, going a hauler. Uh, freighter battles are actually easy. Well, uh, okay. Go on a hauler. Hmm. Yeah, I feel like I need. I feel like I need a better ship that's actually geared for combat. Because I mean, like, shield strength. I need. I need something that's got like high shields off the bat. Because then when I like upgrade it, then like the then the upgrades will actually like push like the thing forward a bit. You know, they'll actually they'll increase stuff right off the bat. What is the damage? What does the damage potential of the ship actually do? That's what I need to know. Like if I if I buy another ship in a minute. I could scrap this. Oh, God damn it. Right, you're definitely not selling cobalt or anything. Damn it. Okay. Maybe I should go to a different system. Maybe I should just like teleport to a different system. That might help me. Probably would, wouldn't it? Uh, uh, hmm. We absolutely sure no one's like piloting, no one's coming in. Alright, let me go to a different system. <laughs> Why not? Do do Network restricted. What, what happened there? Okay. Um, wait. Why is there a... Why is there a skull on that? Don't know. 
Um, crash freight at dig site. What the hell is going on there? Crash freight at dig site. What? Corrupt archive. Corrupt archive data. What? What? <clears throat> what? Alright, um. I'll have to investigate that in a minute. Because, like, no one's coming in. Alright, well, I guess we'll have to just pick a, pick a place and go. Um. Alright, off we go. Uh, there's nothing that could possibly go wrong. Let's have a look. Right, just go there. Someone's gonna have cobalt, and I'm gonna find it. And then when we do, uh, I need to figure out something to do with this, uh, the ship. I need, I need, a, I need a bigger ship. I need a better ship. Um, I don't think if I get all the S-class upgrades, I need. Uh, if I, if I get the, if I upgrade the, um, I probably probably go to these guys up here. Uh, let's try and buy some cobalt because it will have cobalt. I know it will. Uh, God damn it! Didn't have cobalt. Right. Um. Even if I get my ship to S class, I, I have my doubts that it's gonna have what I need. Uh, oh, I guess I'm not doing too bad there. Can always be grading some stuff. Excuse me. Oh my goodness, it's a ship. Look at you go. I don't know if I have the money for you, but. I guess we'll find out in a minute. Can I always swap ships, I guess? Alright. Let's have a look. What have you got? I want, I want to have a look at this kind of ship anyway. I feel like what? Make an offer on the life arm ship. Uh, negotiate price. Okay, so you're... You're not as good. you got slightly better shield strength off the bat. Hyperdrive range. Yeah. Yeah, see, that's, that's what I mean. Like, no. This isn't... No. Um, uh, um, 26 out of 45 tech or cargo. Uh, well, I mean, uh, I guess I could have read these, I don't know. Um, right, what does upgrading ship class do? No one's guy. What does upgrading ship? Oh, there you go. Um, better native stats. Uh, better native stats. Okay. Um, uh, correct. Turn C to B. Okay. Uh, um. Uh, 48 to 21. Uh, C to A, the inventory size depends on the ship size. My T to five stake agreement just 48 21, and also my guppy exotic. What? Okay. Uh, 48 21. 48 21? What? 21 what? 48 21? What are you talking about? I know they're talking about cargo, but 48. What does 48 21 mean? Like. Um, Fighter can have as many slots as Hollow does. Question, I guess. I don't know. Um, Fighters usually do more damage. Explorers go farther. Uh, Hollows are better shielded. Given the distances involved from going um, uh, from one point to another in the galaxy, by far the most useful stat, in my opinion, is distance in Explorers, which maxes out at 181% uh, of the normal 100% starting, uh, starting point for most ships. Basically, you can go nearly twice as far per warp. Add this to a max S-class hyperdrive module setup. Uh, six plus 14 mod, four mods in total between tech station and inventory space. No, three. Um, and you can go nearly 3,000 light years in one jump. Um, six plus four mods in total. What, what, are you, what are you talking about? Six plus four. You can't have ten hyperdrive mods. Um, 
I don't know if you can have unlimited X mods, but you can't have unlimited S, S mods. Um, Spread your upgrades over inventory and tech spaces, effectively doubling up. Um, well, you used to be able to do that, but you can't do that anymore. Um, uh, split up the grouping so you have three of the same type of S mods in inventory and three in set plus, whatever normal blueprints are available. Uh, the ones you buy with nanites in the anomaly. Um, so, if a particular suit function like live spots, four blueprint mods are the ones you make yourself. You can have as many as ten mod upgrades for that function because the blueprint type upgrades don't count towards the overall overload situation. Uh, you can't have more than three of the same S-Class mods which are purchased and not made by you in each inventory section. But you can split them up between tech and regular inventory just fine. Well, you can't do that anymore because, like, well, there you go. Um, yeah. Unless you do it over here, like, no. Um, unless I was to, like, pack it up. No, I can't do that. Um, let's pack it up and then I was to, like, install it here. No, right, okay. Yeah, they, they got rid of that. You can't do that. So you, you, you they, they will have nerfed that. So you can't do that. That's fine. Um, oh well. Well, we need a bit, we need a different ship anyway. That's, that's what we've just established. That you know, fighters and all that. Like we need, we need, we need a different one. I want something with better, well, better everything ideally. Uh, no. What would we say? 281, yeah, that's a lot better than what we started off with. Oh, that's a lot better than what we've got. Uh, maneuverability, yeah. The uh, thing is that the maneuverability isn't really helping us much. Now, damage potential is rubbish. That's This is a hauler, that's the thing. That's a hauler. It has shield upgrades, but it's not really got much of anything else. And that's what we're trying to avoid. But we, want, we want something that's like good across the board. Um, let's have a look. Oh, wow, look at this thing. It's not really got a lot of cargo space at all. 19, 29, 20, and 28. Okay. Um, again, it's got maneuverability. It's got slightly better hyperdrive range. That's about it. It's, it's rubbish. This thing's rubbish. Let's disappear. Um, so we've got this thing over here. This thing looks like a hauler. Does anyone have cobble? I could use cobble. Anyone's got that on them? And yes, I know that I've been here for half an hour and I literally haven't done anything. Um, I'm aware of that. Don't worry about that. Uh, fine. Uh, again, no. You've not got anything good for me. Um, it'd be nice, I guess, if they upgraded your general... Um, if they upgraded the amount... If, if Like, if you upgrade something to S-Class and you could upgrade something to Supercharge. That'd be nice. Go. Uh, Athenating, yeah. Off to trade, you don't have cobalt, do you? Nope, no, alrighty then. Shield strength, uh, a little bit better, but again, everything else is rubbish, and that's not what we want. Uh, damage potential. Like, we need something that has a lot better shields. Like, we can't be making a trade on a ship. Where it's, where it's only got like 10 extra shields like no we need like in the hundreds do you know what I mean we need something that like is a lot more powerful in shields like like I can't be having an Elden Ring situation where the ship I have is the best one and I got it near the bloody start right this thing's gonna be rubbish I can tell uh, again slightly better hyperdrive range oh well uh, uh, right well I should probably just go down to a planet and just buy something I guess I don't know but no we're gonna go to a different station because we need to we need to do that we need to excuse me we need to well a couple of you didn't want to load in then did you we still need to figure something out in terms of right we've got the access and zong or whatever I don't know I need cobalt I just need to buy it I think right um no Things need to happen. 
That's what that's what's gonna happen here. Things need to happen. Yeah, okay. Um this was some something that I've done before. I I'm, wait. But I haven't been in this whole place yet, have I? Oh. Interesting. What are you over here? Just navigation data? Indeed. I wish there was more lore about these places or things I could discover. Because, I mean, I've just opened up an Atlas Level 3 room and there's literally nothing in here. So, I guess. Oh well. Let's see if we can't find. Is there a, a, a galaxy data thing here as well? I don't know. Um, we've got that thing. Uh, we can go over here. Let's see what's in here. So there's, uh, there's been a containment breach. There's, the, the biological horrors have, have reached this station. They were, what, experimenting on them, I guess? Or they've just... Uh... Alright, I thought I thought like a massive something was going to bother me there. Right, come on. Cobalt, where are you? Oh god, come on, just just hurry things up for me here. Uh, scientific components. What if I was to... What if I... Oh, I can't. Okay, alright, cool. Here's anything that I could, like, buy. That, uh, if I bought it, it would, um... Oh. Oh. Breach. Uh, remembrance. Oh, I don't have remembrance. I guess I'll have to come back here when I get there. Um, it's a server anyway. That's that's interesting. Uh, I guess I'll have to figure that out at some point. Yeah, I don't have remembrance. I don't know if I can build one just yet. I think I have to do the Atlas quest for that. Yeah. I know I need you for something. I just can't remember what. But I know I need the antimatter and the antimatter housing for... Uh, exosuit uh, drop pods. Um, hey, someone's gonna have cobalt. I'm gonna find them. And I do plan to actually get something done today. Don't like, you know, I'm not doing the same thing that we did before. Um, corrupt archive data. Uh, oh! Oh! That's not taking me to the crash freighter, that's taking me to a system where I have one of those. That's cool. That's cool and all. That's great. I appreciate that. That's something that I can use. That's something that's bloody valuable to me. There we go. Cool. Excuse me. Right. Um... Look, I don't want to go looking for cobalt. Don't make me do this. Um, how much do I actually need to build the thing that I'm after? It is. Uh, ionized cobalt. Right, okay, so I just need 240 total. Lovely. Is somebody going to come in and drop some off? Or am I going to have to? Alright, well, someone's going in to do something, that's for sure. Alright. Um. So if I go to, maybe if I go to like a rich system, a system with like loads of high technology or something like that, or, I don't know, that might might help us out a bit, maybe, no idea, there's only one way to find out. Sir Viking, I must speak to thee. Uh, Alright, let's go. Uh, off the trees. You don't have a thing, right, I, I am just going to have to go and do a thing in a minute. Right, ooh, you look fancy. Got your rubbish, sick. Right, go away. Got you. Oh, it's literally just the same ship as a minute ago, wasn't it? Uh, uh, Asa kicks coop. Now we do. If you say so. Trade warrior, yeah, mate. Um, oh god, damn it! Yeah, but you don't have the thing that I need. Shield strength. Well, you're rubbish. Yeah, in every way. Lovely. All right. Um, what about you? Wow, there's a lot of there's just a lot of traders here, isn't there? I mean, it's yeah, it's the same. It's literally the same ship. All right, cool. Um, hmm. 
I guess there's the problem, isn't it? That, that's where things, that's where the problems start. If I can just get like a bunch of fighters, maybe I could, what if I just, I can recruit people to my squadron, that's the thing, like, what if I did that? I never actually like bothered with this, this thing, that's the thing, recruit life on the squadron. Squadron is full, what do you mean squadron is full? How do I increase my squadron? How is that a thing that I do? I'll have to look into that at some point, help me out. Um, all right, let's go. Warrior Tam. It's a different ship. Uh, that, 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 that much is true. Uh, make an offer. It's rubbish. However, it's it's not good. But at the same time, I feel like it could be better. Good sir! Cadet Ziaz, or whatever. I'm not 100%. I'm gonna look. Yeah, infinite departure, that's interesting. Shields aren't too much, but worse than mine. Yeah, not exactly the improvement we're after. But everything else is worse than us. Right. We need a better ship. No, because what ship are you? Infinite departure. You're exactly. Wait, DTA. Oh, yeah, okay, that is the same. Right. And then you're exactly the same as well, aren't you? Infinite departure. Oh, okay, fine, fine. Look, I will come back to you. And I will claim your life. So, let's get started on whatever's going on. Go ahead. Excuse me, right. Come on, man. Look, I should just go and sort out that, um,. I should just go and sort. So I, I should just go and sort out that whatever it is, the uh, the, the exosuit. Go and do all the exosuit stuff. Like I forget why I'm even here or what I'm doing. I'm looking for cobalt, but I'm also looking for um, a better ship. Uh, archive location detected. Oh god, that's fine. I'll, I'll sort them out at some point. Right. I'm gonna go sort out the exosuit thing. I'm gonna go out. I'm gonna sort out the exosuit. The exosuit thing. I'm just gonna go do it. All right. You. Conflict level alarming. You say that, but I don't care. Alright. Um, I should probably go with some of the fleet, actually, and, and, and go speak to Normandy. Get whatever loot we've got from there. Please let it be Cobalt, because if it is, that'd be hilarious. Lovely. Let's go. It's a Viking system. Even though I thought it was Corvax. Oh, it is Corvax. Uh, yes. Did I just happen to look at the one Viking in the room and think that, um,. That was what was happening there. Alright, oh well, let's go. Cruiser Mab's transporter. Yeah, well, I mean, the fact that this thing's called a transporter, you would think that that would make it a hauler, wouldn't you? So, it's got the best shield, but then not much of anything else. But then again, look at the hyperdrive range we've got. The maneuverability is alright, but again, that's the thing, is that we're looking for a better shield. Like, our shields are useless compared to the AI in the game. Like, no matter what the AI's got, they do a lot of damage, and their shields are impeccable. Alright. Oh, look at that thing. That thing has got like a, a sound effect on it now. Look at you go. Let's go. Um, initiate landing sequence. Let's do it. Anyone else that I can uh, trade with while I'm here? No idea. The cavalry. Hell yeah. Um, right, let's, let's get up and speak to everyone, I suppose. Woo! Captain, reporting to the, reporting on deck. Let's go. Wait, no, it's you that needs it. No, it's not. It is not you. It is this way. There we go. No, wait, it's it's not, is it? Oh god, I will never find my way around the ship. Yes, I will. It was literally the other way, wasn't it? Alright, it's this place. No, it's this place. There we go. Got there eventually. Fleet command station. Let's have a look. One odd station, by the way. It doesn't look like anything. No expedition assigned. Did I not send them on an expedition? I thought I... No, I didn't, did I? Because I wanted to buy a bunch of fleets and I just couldn't find the, th the damn thing. Right, yeah, I remember. So I didn't actually send the Normandy on a fleet. Right, okay, cool. So that was a waste of time. We've got you, and you're not better than anything I have, but I will take a look at you anyway. There we go. Uh, entity. Uh, sure. Uh, off the trade. Do you have Cobalt? 
No, you don't, which is annoying, but oh well. Uh. Uh. Eh. She looks like this is alright, I guess. Hmm. He's down, but I guess I could be upgraded, but at the same time, damage potential's- Ugh, damage potential's gone down. I mean, what does the damage potential actually do? Like, cause I mean, like, the thing is, is that, like, how does that improve my weapons? What does damage potential mean? Yeah, but, like, what the damage of my best weapon can do? Well, no, because no matter what, um, peak your damage uh, protection when shielded. Like, damn, really? Okay, all right. Yeah, like peak damage protection when shielded is not that, like. Per shot or per burst, if the weapon in if the weapon in question fires and bursts. Um, uh, the numbers interlopers, what do they mean? Oh, that's a nice reference. Um Hmm. It means what damage your best weapon can do. This is not true. If you have Scatter Blaster, it will always be a Scatter Blaster damage since it is the largest out of all weapons. I mean, this might be true for multi-tools, but I don't care about multi-tools. No one does. Um, the, no, I'm, I'm joking, by the way. Um, yeah, like, damage potential is 1,600. Right, see, that's the thing. See, that, that sounds a lot different. So, if we were to look at, uh, where are you? Vault Caster. That's probably that. 60, no, it can't be that. It can't be that. Come on. Sixteen thousand? No, sixteen thousand. Sixteen hundred. Maybe you. You're telling me that a single shot from the from from the machine gun of my handheld tool does more damage, right, than any one, than any one, that does does like what five times as much damage as my literal starship with all of these weapons on it? Are you telling me that's what that's if that's what this that's what this seems to be implying, which isn't true. Um... Uh, fighter, yeah, but, uh, Sentinel technology and low launch cost, freighter, yeah, but, how do I tell a freighter, what, how, how do I, how do I tell a fighter from, a, from, like, anything else, uh, high damage bonus, right, but what does damage potential mean for starships, because it doesn't reflect, yeah, right, here we go. Ship damage potential is the most useless and misleading stat in the game. Um, hmm. uh, the difference uh, in damage potential between a ship... Right, so this will be old, that's the thing. Yeah, this is, this is old. This is before they updated... Uh, yeah, this is all outdated stuff, that's the thing. Damage potential and peak damage potential. Well, peak dam pa damage potential is obvious. It just means the maximum amount of damage. Um, the starship damage potential. Can someone clear it up for me? I get that when you hover over a specific weapon system, you see its peak damage potential. My question is about the damage potential number on the main page with the white and yellow bars. Is the white line specific to your ship with the yellow representing your augmentation? If so, then does that mean that all ships could theoretically be maxed out to the same level? Or are some just better than others to begin with as it should be? Um... Your ship's base, but that's the thing is that having a like your ship's like your ship shouldn't have a base damage number because you can get rid of certain weapons. 
Like you can get like I've gotten rid of the photon cannons, for example, because I don't like but like base damage potential doesn't mean anything because I can get rid of certain weapons and make it so that my ship only has like these don't like if I get rid of you now, what do you do? What do you leave me with? You've taken away like fifty, but why? Why have you taken away fifty? Why have you taken away fifty damage potential? Like, it doesn't actually mean anything in terms of... Like, it, it doesn't... It doesn't mean anything... What are you waving at me? It doesn't mean anything in terms of how much damage my ship can do, because it doesn't... So I can have, like, zero damage potential, and it doesn't do anything. Um, uh, 181 light years maximum... Uh, oh, potential base, okay. Find a maxed out face beam to be the best weapon. I can just keep it pinned on uh, at any time. I agree, it's a bad guy. Does major damage to four hits. They're done. Uh, yes, I have maxed out the ballistic before and the photon and the knife. I like the face beam. Uh, uh, well, I mean, face beams aren't good on these settings. Nobody's getting on discussion. Uh, I feel, like, I feel like, like always, internet is not going to help me out here. Uh, hello, how are you? Diesel926, I am splendid as always, thank you. Uh, and how real is you? Um, I am just trying to figure out what the point of damage potential on a ship is compared to actually having weapons. Hmm. And what have you actually got for me here? It's like damage potential 56.7, it's like, right, but is that just because you don't have any weapons on you? Or like, it that shouldn't... <sighs> Hyperdrive range goes up a bit, I guess. It's like, right, if I, if I do this for a second, if I get rid of you... Um, I can't, can't get rid of that, alright. There you go, 192. Yeah, sure. I don't really care about the hyperdrive range, to be honest. Um, if I get rid of you. Right, see, this is what I'm talking about, right? I can't get rid of this. What does the three, What does the 300 mean here? I can't get rid of my last weapon. But supercharging it doesn't actually affect it. Technology supercharge, 3,500, oh wow. Mm, it's, it's not bad, it's not bad. I mean, if I, okay. Um, uh, cyclotron ballista, how much damage do you do? Uh, on shields, 3,100. I mean, it's not bad. It's not bad. It's not bad. I'll, t I'll take that, to be honest. I'll take that. Um, yeah, sure. Um, yeah. Wait, okay, but hang on. So you've got that. What if... Wait, so you got 940.8. Really? Hmm. All right, if you say so. Uh, I guess so, because it does... Yeah, alright. Um, hmm. I need more supercharged slots. That's what I need. Yeah, that's, that'd be good. I'll, I'll take that. Um, yeah. Right. It's like, if I take you as well, then you've also got that doing its thing. Move you, and then move you, and I get you. So our shields are slightly weaker, but at the same time, 
I wonder. I wonder. Suspicious positron module. All right. Well, hang on. Let me let me get my ship so I can save real quick. First of all, oh, I can't change anything while I'm in here, can I? Oh, damn it. Right. First of all, whoop. Still point saved. Yeah, mate. We've got internet. I don't even have that. All right. Suspicious positron module. Right, um, uh, fire rate, right, okay, so we've got damage plus 1%, fire rate plus 7, right. I want to see, can I get a decent upgrade for this thing? Is it possible? I doubt it, but is it possible? Um, okay, no, uh, I'm going to follow, lovely. Um, yeah. You, Positron Ejector. Right, so you're the exact same as before. I feel like they've fixed save scumming. I feel like they've done that. They've fixed save scumming. Which, to be honest, is fine if they do that because then I can just sell these for nanites. Um, yeah. Hmm. Yeah, okay, right, cool. They've, 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 they've fixed saves coming, man. All right. Sure, whatever. Um, hmm. Hmm. Uh, uh, Nomad's guy. Best star ship weapon. Um, rocket launcher, photon cannon, ranking every ship weapons, intro knife accelerator, right, but see the thing is mate, is that the intro knife accelerator only does damage to bloody armor. Um, the thing is, is that I equipped the positron ejector because of how effective it used to be. Maybe it's, maybe they've nerfed it to the ground. Maybe, that, that, maybe that's the thing, maybe it's just not as good as it used to be because enemies didn't used to have shields. That used to be the thing. You would, you, you could like kill an enemy in like three seconds with this because not only not only were they absolutely useless just in terms of the enemy's AI, their ability to shoot back, um, the, like, you know, how how easy it was to actually get a, a bead on them. These things used to be, like, these things used to essentially take care of any enemy because they were absolutely useless. But now I'm thinking, well, the AI has improved. What if, um... Well, what if this thing isn't good anymore? You know? Like, it's good. It's good against... It's good against, like, armor, but what if it just isn't, you know? Um, it's like, that thing is good against shields, allegedly. Um, maybe it's time that I just got rid of that thing, you know? But I'll tell you what, I'm going to go to that. I'm gonna, I am going to go and sell this stuff to a... I'm going to go to the station for a second. There's the Normandy doing its thing. I'll go and find, um... I know I've been, I know I've literally been here for, they've... Oh wait, no, no, okay, alright, that's fine. Uh, yes, I am fully aware that I've, I've changed, uh, I've, I've been doing this for a while. Now, freighter's out of range, I need to upgrade this thing on that. Um, fleet coordination. I need to get a better freighter. I need, the thing is, I need to get a better freighter. And what I mean by that is that it's C-class, and you can't upgrade the class of your, of your ship without doing that, you know, I need, I need to get an S-class freighter, um, and I feel like, uh, when I do, I'm gonna need one that does a thing, um, like, I wanna get, when I get, when I, well, I, I don't want an S-class freighter, I want an S-class capital ship, uh, uh, no man's guy, best capital ship, Uh, biggest capital freighter in No Man's Sky, the Dreadnought class. Oh, that's probably the new one, isn't it? That, that, that looks like a new one. The biggest version of a Sentinel design capital freighter. It has seven segments for its midsection and also can come with two or four pairs of additional cargo pods. It dwarfs most of the freighters in direct comparison. Um, Hmm. 
oh, um, freighters are worth the money spent to get them. Yeah, that didn't used to be the case. Um, that, that's not that that wasn't true at the time of them set of the time of them making that. But I guess oh well. right. Yeah, it's like get rid of you, intronize, you know. It's... You know what? I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it, guys. I'm gonna do it. Um, I'm gonna get rid of you. Dismantle. Yeah. I mean, the thing. I'm gonna. I'm gonna swap it out for a, another thing. So I'm gonna get rid of you. I'm going to stock up on you because I can. Um, and yeah, I'll keep you for when someone gets damaged. I'm gonna go. To, I'm gonna, right now, I'm gonna go to the the thing, the anomaly. I'm gonna get myself the intro knife. I'm gonna see how much better this thing is. Watch, I bet it's absolutely useless. Because um, I mean, I can't, I can't pretend like I've seen the thing used on, say, the hardest settings. Uh, planetary interference. Oh, can't help yourself. Right, there we go. Planetary interference. Right, let's go. Wait, 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 wait. Before I do that, before I do that, right, I need to uh, test this. So. Uh, direct power to weapons, direct power to engine, uh, to, wait, right, so we've got power and shields, right, uh, shield strength, uh, 298, yeah, ah, oh, damn it, you, you don't reflect it, oh, god damn it, right, weapons, okay, cool, aha, 7-4, yeah, 7-4, doing a thing. Seven five two nine. Okay. Whoa. Damn. That's that is an increase. That is an increase. Seven four four two. Damn. That goes up by like three thousand. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh my god. Um. Yeah. All right. Uh, direct power shields. Yeah. So do, like, putting stuff on shields probably does change things, doesn't it? Damn. Yo. That's 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 impressive. All right. Um, um, I am going to do things today. I, I do have every intention of doing that. Bear with me. I am doing things today. Right. Um, uh, can I just say, like, look. I get that the difficulty settings are on the hardest settings and all, but there needs to be like some kind of balancing going on, on, on here. And what I mean by that is the amount of time that it takes an enemy to recharge their shields is like two to three seconds. Bit of an exaggeration, but it's definitely not more than five. It literally takes you several minutes for yours to even, like, and once they regen, they regen like that, like fully regen in about like three seconds from the shield. Um, beginning to charge. Um, yours takes several minutes to even start crawling up. No, that's just not on. That needs to change. That needs to. That it needs to be like an equivalent. You know, if I can avoid getting shot for several seconds, I need to like be able to regain my shields. You know, um, that's it's not on. Um, Right, Starship. Yeah, mate. Hyperion. Wait. Oh, I knew. I guess one. I've, I know you from a different area. Heat dispersion. No. Right. Where are you? I need not you. Cargo scan deflector. No. Uh, I, I don't need flight assist. Uh, I'm, I'm fine. Thanks. Um. No. No. Wait. Um, she'll recharge on impact. Oh. Um, I guess that's cool. No, I'm alright though. Um, no. Total mechanic count. Intra knife. Alright, cool. Um, heat dispersion. No, I'm alright. Cheers. Oh, I already have. <coughs> excuse me. I already have that. Um, extremely effective against unshielded starship hulls. Uh, accelerators internal components are vulnerable to rapid overheating. Sustained burst fire is not recommended. Um, excuse me. I need phosphorus. I can get phosphorus easily enough. I swear, it, I swear it's sold on one of these anyway. No, I'm sorry. I'm gonna have to sacrifice. Oh my goodness, that that did go down by a bit, didn't it? Right. Um, let's go down by a hundred, doesn't it? 
Oh, it has. Oh my goodness, that's uh, yeesh. But guys, I want to do it. I want to do it. I want. I want to put this thing. Where are you? Intra knife. Yes. Uh, I want to put you in there. Yes, I do. Uh, false rust. Right. I will. I shall return. Oh, I have to go make another brute. It has to feel like it. Ouch. Ow. We'll go get some phosphorus, and then I'm going to go and get some cobalt. Because I'm going to go down onto a planet and do it. And yes, I'm aware of the fact that in about two hours, I've done nothing. Because I only played for an hour yesterday. Look, that doesn't... Look. Look. That's not intentional. Things just take a while. Alright. Let's go. Um, it's like, yeah, like all, all my... My, my weapons are just gonna. Just, I, I'm gonna just put everything into my weapons. This thing needs to do damage. Like, I need. I need to make sure that when this thing hits, it, it like destroys things. You know. Like next time I fight a pirate, I need to one shot it. You know. Oh no, that's not gonna happen. But I mean, like I need. I need it to actually like hurt. Um, I'm looking forward to Starfield. That should be fun. Alright. I just hope that there's like there's difficulty options that are actually reasonable while we're there. <sighs> okay, right, fine. Um, like when we get to Starfield, like is it gonna be a no man's sky situation? Is it gonna is it gonna be like is it gonna be like every Bethesda game where the hardest difficulty is always like, right, enemies take a million years to kill and will one hit you and also the combat in the game isn't structured around that kind of thing. It's the combat in the game is essentially just um, if you can take, you know, if you can take more hits than the enemy, and so there's no way to do the legendary difficulty unless you're already um, at a high level, or you know the game so well that you know exactly wh which areas to avoid to level up in such a planned manner that you need to go somewhere else because I'm in the wrong place. Right. Um, no, but what I do need to do is go out here. No. Well, this thing's just gonna lock itself every time, isn't it? Right. Where are you? It's out here, isn't it? Uh, it's over there, but I can't be asked. I'll just uh, look. Look, I'm gonna go this way instead. I just need to get some phosphorus. And look, I know that one of these areas sold phosphorus because I saw the damn thing. All right. Um. Uh, I remember seeing phosphorus in one of these places. I'll get the cobalt somewhere else. I'll just mine the damn thing if I have to, because it would appear that I do. But god damn it. Don't make me do this. Where are you? Come on. Phosphorus. No. Oh, God. Right. Is there anybody here? Can I just buy phosphorus from here? No. Of course not. Why would I be able to do that? It's a crash freighter. It's a crash freighter area, wasn't it? I could do that here. Tell you what. Tell you what we'll do. Not an end once and for all. What we are instead going to listen, listen to. Here we go. Only half hour fuel remains. Giveth to me a 
7,000 it was on a minute ago. Oh my goodness, I've got 255 frame drops. Where on earth have they all came from? Come from? What on earth is that about? I just, I just realized, I just, I just looked back and I've got 255 frame drops. What, what, when on earth has that happened? Like, okay. Just refuse to elaborate. Why not? Alright. Um... Oh, wait, okay. Oh. Okay, so what, what, what does that mean that, I, that you've got then? Yeah, okay. Alright, sure. And how's that shadow? What the f... Oh. Oh, I haven't moved. Oh, right, okay. I was, I was wondering what on earth was going on there. I was like, wait, what the hell is this, like, massive contraption I've got? Right, um... Right, okay, wait, here we go. So in a minute, I'm going to discover whether or not this is going to be useful to me. To me. Boom. There you go, the store point saved. Not really. Not good enough. Uh, restore point, go. We'll sell it. We'll sell it, and then things will be new. Ow. Uh, right. Let's let's sell it. We've got we've got the intra knife thing now. Um, that should hopefully kill things relatively quick. Um, I feel like I'd like a fighter because I feel like if I had a fighter, then uh, things might be a little bit better, I guess. <laughs> Give me a minute. Right. This is where everything that I need is. So I'm gonna go here. I'm gonna get the rest of these upgrades from all these extra suits. No, I'm gonna go get Cobalt first. But I'm gonna land near a drop pod to do it. Um, and then I'm gonna do that. Uh, I do like that, again, I can just get unlimited inventory space. Uh, I don't know why I would ever need that, but cool. I, I, I could keep getting unlimited inventory space, I guess, which would be nice, but I need not that, so let us depart instantaneously. Let's go do it, because I've wasted so much goddamn time already. Let's just go away. Right, there we go. Hull's engine disengaged, beginning suborbital flight. Do 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 Alright, cycle drum blister. Alright, so all of our weapons are exactly how they need to be as well. Um, organized wise. Right, so there's cobalt in there, which is lovely. That helps us out. So it's everything up to where we need to be. We're in the middle of a blizzard, which is always lovely. Let's have a bit of a look around. Whoa, that's going on there. Destination reached. Um, communication station. Well, I don't want a communication station, so I'll be fine for a minute. Search you. Projectile ammunition. Sure, whatever. Health at maximum. Why not? Uh, starship. Off you go. Don't care. Jack Relic, why not? Right, what stuff do we need from you that I've, I've forgotten and left? Uh, we got uh, Adipata Housing, Sodium Nitrate, Carbon Nanotubes, lovely. So I need Sodium Nitrate and Carbon Nanotubes, which I have, and which I have, lovely. Uh, yeah. I 
any items about housing, which I have. Yeah, I've got everything I need. Lovely. Um, again, I'm just gonna keep getting you. Lovely. Alright, so let me go get my 240 cobalt from in this cave. Uh, and then I'll refine the whole lot, build this personal refiner, and then we can move on with our oh-so-important lives. There we go. There we go. Now we're getting somewhere. Hey. Took me a minute, but we got there. We're not, we're not finished yet. So how's everyone doing today? Everyone looking forward to the weekend? I most certainly am. Thing cool down. There we go. Geo. Now, what on earth would that mean? 200. Oh, come on. We're almost done. Almost done. Harvested agricultural substance. You know what? We're going to have, like, a bit of everything in this game at some point. Like, we're going to have massive gardens and everything. I'm going to expand. Once we get the new cavalry, and it's this is it's X, S, the S class, because there's two types of freighter. That's the thing. You have the freighter, and then you have the capital ship. Um. Uh. I'm gonna get like an S-class capital ship at some point, and it's gonna be ma you know it's gonna be massive. I'm gonna have um, this is of course assuming that I'm not dead by them, which I don't intend to be, but you know um, there we go. Right, so that's that size again. So what I want now is to uh, change stack size. Uh, yeah. Well, no, it's only four, that's the thing. There you go. Cool. Now get rid of that. Find this. Actually, how many of these do I have? I only have 29 of you. I feel like I could do with more. What do I need to make you again? Uh, ferrite dust. Yeah, because it's, um, it's cobalt and then ferrite dust, isn't it? So if I make it like another 30. If I make another 30. So if I get like 300 cobalt. Yeah, and I can get loads of throughout dust. Yeah, if I can make 300 cobalt. A little bit of ferret dust, which would be easy enough to get. Alright, yeah, sure, why not? Let's get ourselves a whole bunch of cobalt. Which means that I obviously shouldn't have just destroyed the rest of it that I just had there, but oh well. It doesn't matter. Like, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have, like, everything on that capital ship, by the way. I don't just mean, like, weapons and all that, which I don't think I can have. Like, wh what I mean is, um, like, now that they've... I feel like they probably... Now, now that they've established that... Ca like, fl um, now that they're definitely developing capital ships and, and freighter battles and all that, like, like actual fleet battles, I feel like it's almost guaranteed at this point that they are, uh, they are, they are going to go this route at some point. Um, because they wouldn't develop, they wouldn't, No Man's Sky isn't the kind of game where they develop a feature and then leave it. Uh, I, th I feel like they've proven that at this point. Like, they prove, they, 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 they develop features that they plan to expand into. So, with, in regards to fleet battles, what I want them to do is I want them to, gi I want them to, um, uh, give us the ability to, like, upgrade a freighter's components, like its shields and all that, or, like, maybe, it, like, allow us to, allow us to, wait, platinum? Okay, I just I get that from here, I guess. Um, like you allow us to like place turrets along certain areas of our ships. Like you allow us to increase the amount of turrets it has. You allow us to um, you allow us to like place turrets in certain spots. Like imagine just having an absolute mountain of turrets around the shield generator. <laughs> Be like, yeah, try and destroy this, losers. Uh, but no, it's like um, oh, it'd be great. And then you've got uh, like imagine me able to put like a mass like a, just a massive mass accelerator on your dreadnought you know that, that's what I want to do anyway um, uh, where is it like right 
Well, that's, that's the thing, is that we're still not done with you. Wait for it. There you go, that's better. Again, I'm just going to get rid of you, because you, you're just taking up inventory space. That goes for you as well. Uh, no, wait. Wait. Oh, yeah, it, it is ionized cobalt. Cobalt that I'm after. Where's the... Oh, you're here. Why have I put you there? Um, oh, I just like... Yeah, no, you can go there, it's fine. Right. Um. Right, okay. See, here's the thing. So now. So we put, what, 125 in there? Is that what that was? No, 150. Right, 150, which means we need another 90. Which means we need to go. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, you do that. And we'll keep going because we need another 93. 97. I, I don't know how much we just had, but oh well. Okay, cool. Yeah, I guess that means that we've, we've got all that. I'll keep the rest, to be perfectly honest, because I can use it. We will need it. Right, here we go, guys. Here it is. Here it is. You get gone. Here it is. Wait for it. Where is it? Uh, I'm going to build you right there. Personal refiner Mark II. Personal refiner Mark II. There it is, guys. We've upgraded it. Use refiner. We can upgrade to. We can do it twice. There we go. So like you take more things now. Um, we can we can combine items now. We can we can do we we can combine two items. It's great. Um, uh, process raw materials into usable products and uh, substances. Um, if I wanted to, I could farm a boatload of chlorine and do a thing. But I'm not gonna do that. So give me you. Um, I don't know if it does it at a better ratio. No, it doesn't. Or if it does it faster or anything like that. I'm not, I don't know. Um, I'm not really fussed. So, I'd say that's about everything we need. In terms of... Yeah. Um, uh, I, don't, I don't know. I'm just trying to think like... Um, uh, what would be useful here? We, we, again, we've got all that dehydrogen. Um, hmm. Starship, launch fuel, yeah. Um, I guess we will. Hmm. Um, I'm gonna get loads of. How much do we even need? Like 150 ferrite? Let's get out of it and let's get a bunch of ferrite, I guess. It's not like it's gonna be tricky for us to get, is it? There we go. We get 150 ferrite, it'll probably be better if we just get out. Uh, and then do that. Then. Yeah. Well, we've got strange animal noises, which is always lovely. Alright. Um. Hmm. I don't know. Maybe, maybe, a, maybe a different planet than this would be better for stuff like that. Oh no, we got you. You're fine. We'll get ourselves at 150, and then, once we've got all that, we will be able to build a bunch of iron batteries, which will be very useful for us. All right. There we go. Indeed. Right, what have we got now? We have... We have... Where's my fire? Right oh, over there. Oh, okay, cool. So we still need another 39. Boom. I'm not exactly keeping track here. So, you know, FYI. All right. Look at that geode. Lovely. Yes, indeed. Right. Would you be so kind as to just 
give me a whole bunch of that. Oh, oh, where did I get you from? Okay, that's odd. Right, um, what do I need you for again? Oh yeah, um, that's right. Well, good to know that we can get to 60 now. This may take me a moment, but you know what? It's worth it. Because, um, I mean, to be honest, I may as well just use up the whole bunch that I've got. There you go. For that exact reason. Because we, we are going to run out. Um, we, I don't, I don't want to get to 60 and then leave it, you know? Yep, cool. Get rid of you. Uh, where are you? So, no, no, but you still used the. Uh, you did the thing where you still you you used two, but you only filled it up by the value of one. That's a glitch. It needs to stop. Sean Murray, what are you doing to me? Um. Yeah, I'm gonna use up another one of these things. Where are you? Um. Go! Let's get ourselves a bunch more upgrades, because we can. Get these exosuit stuff, get this exosuit stuff out of my inventory. Drop pod detected, if you say so. Indeed. I feel like there should be like some kind of way to add like supercharged slots to your um to your, to your suit or to your ship. Like it should be um like some way to improve it. Um even if it's like grindy and, and difficult to achieve, I feel like there should be some way to upgrade that, but I don't know. Anyway, uh, 182 kiloseconds. Wow, that's far, isn't it? Uh, right, well, no, because I'm, uh, no. There you go. I'll tell, I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what is going to happen in the game. I'm going to get up above it, and you are going to pulse drive me over there, because screw doing it any other way. Alright. Other side of the damn planet, and you tell me it's 182 killer seconds away. No, it's right here. Planet Gabrixum 16. Alright. Initiating landing sequence. Of course we are. Look at us. Yeah, it's a good thing I didn't like fall and die there. Oh, over there. Rinwaffle, Rinwaffle fight. Very odd. Alright, give, give, and give. Yeah, mate. Again, no, we're just gonna go full technology. Do it. I guess I may as well claim everything that's over here, and then we, we always have things to do. Save and chart. Thank you very much. Uh, okay. Normally there's a, like a mini cutscene with that, but I guess that's cool. I guess we should dis disappear then. So, yeah, you know, I'd appreciate it actually if you if you didn't normally. Oh yes, we have those. I don't know if I'm gonna snack those or, or spend them all as soon as I get back to my frigate. Um, although technically, I see you over there. Wait, the drop pod. Wait, there's a drop pod that's right next to a frigate. I feel like that drop pod, I, mean, that's a, I feel like that's a very effective drop pod. It's landed next to the, the, the freighter. Damn. Hang on. Reverse. Well, we're not reversing. Turn the ship around. That was counterproductive. Alright, let's go. Uh, first of all, there's going to be a landing pad nearby. And that's going to help me out a teeny bit. Go. Um, first things first, let me get you. What's going on? We have the MV Pride of Yuri Boko. Boku. Distress beacon power, 0%. Um, date stamp 26, uh, 2680.7. Freighters stretch ahead before us. A vast caravan herding our species across the stars. What are these? Are these the, the Corvax or what? We have deserted our past. We have left every colony behind. We go towards towards the core. I don't know. Date stamp twenty seven uh, twenty one point one. The Corvax shared their discovery before they departed. 
They told us that the universe was going to come to an end. That every universe did, in time. What do you mean? We would be wiped away, our purpose complete, and the Atlas would start anew. No one would ever know what we did or who we were. Now what on earth do you mean the Atlas would start anew? Now I know the answer to that. But what do you mean? Date stamp 2766.5. I will continue in my duty. Faith or doubt. Submission or resistance. The end or a new beginning. We travel to meet our maker. We travel to complete our great work. It is not for me to judge such things. It is beyond all of us. Indeed. Salvage materials from the wreck. So this freighter, I don't exactly know what uh, crashed this freighter. But we do know that it was it belonged to the Corvax. And they were trying to uh, what, go to the center of the galaxy. And that they uh, concluded that the Atlas was going to reset the universe. Okay. I didn't know that any other species was aware of that. Alright. Um, sure, we got you, Starship. Just do it. Just, just do it. Just get out of my inventory. Silicon powder. Warp pipe core. Oh, yes. Look at us go. Warp pipe core. Hell yes. Now that is loot. That is loot if ever I define the damn thing. Right. You want to get me down here? That'd be great. No, come on. Tiger pod. I love doing this. I, lo I, love, I love being so close to. I love being able to just, just like, get stuff from that far away. Salvage data. Come on, guys. Is that the best we can do? Is that, is that the best we can do? Is that, is that... How did it come to this, gambling? Alright. Now that's an improvement. Can I get a frigate one though? Please. This thing reloads quickly. Huh. Unstable gel. I mean, I guess I can sell it, but I mean, it's not really the kind of thing that I was hoping for. Uh... Okay, alright, alright. I got it. Right, cargo pod, go! There you go, yeah, I figured that I was, uh, I'd be allowed to do this from here. Right then, let's have a look. Unstable gel, if you say so. How much is this actually worth? I'll just get this now, like. Um, I should probably go and visit the uh, pod that's over somewhere in that way. Oh, so yeah, it is it's over there. Yep, cool. We'll go visit that. Um, wait, there's one more. There's one more. There's one more, and I didn't even see it. How could I miss it? You haven't missed it. That's the point. All right, go. Give, giveth to me, Earth. We got a couple of slow frames there. Salvage data. Are you a joke? Are you joking? Yes. Alright, let's go over here and get this uh this this cargo pod. How's Twitter doing? Let's have a get whoa. Let's have a gander. Do 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 you want me a life support gel? I do. I have loads. That's fine. Dehydrogen and 20 carbon. Yeah, that's fine. Um, uh, yeah. There you go. Much better. It's just annoying that I have to I have to mess around like that. All right. Exit upgrade. Yep. 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 Give. Nope, just give. Do I have all the shield grids? I don't. I should probably do that, shouldn't I? Just get all the shield grids. Yeah. Yeah, mate. Um, we'll grade everything here. Yeah, if I just get a bunch of like S class shield grades, I'll do us some good. Atlas pass for you want. Navigation data. Damage container. 
just give us a stash of out of range. What a useless teleport receiver. Uh, I am battery. Yeah, if you say so, I'll take it. Why not? Save and chart. Boom. Disappear. Give me the, the thing. Lovely. You discovered this on 25th of... Oh, yeah. 25th of August. Lovely. Navigation data. gonna kill me. I don't do too much damage. Yeah, there we go. I, I, like how, I like how I didn't know how much damage this thing did, and, I, and on, on a permadeath save that's got like 30 hours on it, I'm just like, eh, probably just, let's just see how much damage it does. <laughs> this big lumbering creature that in real life would probably kill me in one hit. <laughs> yeah, mate. And it's a lot like this game is above ridiculous difficulty. Um, I guess we can just go now, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, where are we? Give me you. Oh, it's just right over there. Are you kidding me? How far away is that? No, I am flying over there. I heard that nearby. I heard that guy jump out nearby. I have to be careful. You say that, Chief, but I heard him nearby. So I thought somebody else had happened to come out right at the same time. Or you're joshing me about something. Uh, yeah, alright, okay, cool. So where's this pod? So we're here, right. Last spot gel, lovely. Nice to make up for things. Woo! Indeed, give, give, and give. Sort me out. Come on. Let's get going. Let's do it. We have you. Right. I can't believe that I'm going to have one less. Like, I've got one less out of that stack. Oh, God damn it. Whoa. Oh. I don't think I've ever seen a friendly ship. Yep, I figured. I was about to say that. I don't think I've ever had a friendly ship. What, what on it? Right, like, get, get me away from this bloody mountain. Alright, first of all, get me away from this bloody mountain. Oh my goodness, what are you guys doing? Alright. You guys aren't exactly leaving me alone. Alright, I have star shield batteries, mate. Do you? Right, there we go. How's that, you douchebag? Right, we're in a blizzard. There we go. Easy. Easy stuff. I don't really know how much more powerful that guy was compared to um, compared to the other enemies that I fought. Well, I don't even know where this damn planet is. Right, there we go. Alright, then. So, where is this next? There we go. Right, so. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, right, yeah, I'm just crashing into everything now. Alright, right, all right. shields, please. Wait, I didn't even have a. Are you kidding me? I didn't even have my. Uh, God damn it. I didn't even have my, my weapons upgraded. I didn't, I didn't even have my weapon selected for that. Damn it. Ooh. Oh, I should probably. Uh, I am going to take a, a bit of a break here, actually, and just see if I can't get anything going on here. 
Yeah, that's what I mean. Like, I've got all power to shields. And, like, look at what we've got going on right now. All power to shields, and this is what I'm dealing with. This is a joke. Like, this... Whoa. Okay. Um... A huge traveler. Science vessel. Nope. Right. So, here's the thing. We've got you over here. What about you? You are a combat frig if I've ever seen one. And I want you. Merchant vessel. Merchant? Come on, man. We've got mining. We've got merchant. We've got science. We've got exploration, I guess. I don't know. I feel like that, that wouldn't would be science. Um, oh, damn it. Right. Okay. Come on. You've only got two, haven't you? Oh, damn it. What, what about you? Are, you? are you selling? Are you selling your, your fleet at all? Can I can I buy this from you? Oh, God damn it! Right. The DSV six GSI foo. Get the GSI foo. All right, all right. Okay. Sure. All right. If I go up here, can I teleport? Pretty please, because I really would like to. How are you guys doing? Where on earth is the captain? Oh, it's over here. Hello there, good sir. Are you selling this ship? For how much? Off to buy the freighter. B class. I mean, that's not too bad. Um, compare. I, w I will compare. Is that it? Okay. Um, C class, B class. Eh. Storage space. How is this less storage space? How, how does that even work? Excuse me. Unless I, had, unless I upgraded it somehow, I don't know. Fleet coordination. What does fleet coordination even mean? Have drive range. Uh, yeah. Oh, that's actually a lot better. Warp efficiency. It says it's gone down, but it's not actually done anything. Right. See you in a bit. Um, it would be cool, like, like, if you could actually do more with other people's freighters. Like, you could trade with them or something like that. You know, instead of literally just being like a, they're completely useless. Um, uh, like, like you could sell your frigates to um, other people. I don't need to be here. Uh, you could sell your frigates to other people, or you could like find and sell you can like find and trade items with them or like you could hire them to go on missions with, uh, you could like hire some of them to uh, go on missions with you or uh, or like no you could hire them um to go on to go and like retrieve uh, a resource for you you know like you could work with other fleets and like trade with them and all that kind of stuff and you could you could commission help from them uh it'd be great um there we go it's like if you were to ask them for like a resource, then you could like spend. You could give them. You could either promise them that you'll get them a resource, or um, uh, uh, yeah, you can either promise them that you'll get them a resource, or uh, I don't know, pay them up front or something like that, and you would. Uh, excuse me. And they and they, and they would they would like send their frigates to go and like collect a resource for you. I need to go and get more of these. How am I going to get more of these? Hmm. I don't think I ever did get the blueprint for that, did I? I need I need to do that. I need to get the blueprint for that. What have you got for me? Uh, last foot module. Um. Okay. Well, I guess I'll sort that out in a bit. Um. Multi expansion sort. I need to do that. But are you, you're not even S-Class, are you? I need to get an S-Class module for you. I, do, I just need to. No, no, why don't I just upgrade this? Because I can upgrade this, can't I? Yeah, sure. Right, I would say it's time. Battle Dragon. Oh, we've got a couple of fre uh, threats, haven't we? All right, well, we've still got 10 of these guys, so let's go, shall we? Why not? Why not? Oh, mate, mate. The damage, the damage is ridiculous. Mate, the damage. Now that's damage. Now that's damage. Mate, that was ridiculous. All right. All power to shields, anyway. Um, sure. Oh, mate, that's great. Um, anyway, what are we doing now? I feel like when you're out of combat, I feel like when there aren't any enemies nearby, you just you need you need to just like fully recharge shields. Like this is ridiculous, right? Um, 
I would say, let's go and, uh, where are you? No, wait, we just activated you, didn't we? Why, why are you taking them now? Where are you taking them? Uh, oh, no, I don't want to enter the plan just yet. Um, I don't know if I just head out in this direction, and then we turn around, oh, wow, um, which I could probably do something with that. Hey, just, just chilling there, I guess. Uh, wait a minute. Oh, no, no, we haven't even activated this yet. Never mind. Drop pod detected. Lovely. Uh, yep, yeah, alright. Well, we're in a thunderstorm in space. Lovely. This ain't ever space. wonder why it's called ever space. Hmm. I don't know where this... Uh, Odd, odd sound that I heard from this planet. Uh, blighted planet. Oh god, no. Not this thing again. Alright. Is there any, is there any, like, what should I have here? The space anomaly? Uh, continue the search for Artemis. Uh, yeah, but I don't need that. The next Atlas interface. Yeah. They are worried about what I might find. Mm, maybe. Base computer archives. I will go and do that at some point. Salvage site. I should probably have that equipped for, for the minute. Um, salvage cargo pods from the wreck. Yeah. Uh, we'll go and do that. But not right for the moment. Pulse engine disengaged. Lovely. Uh, planet Ayakala. Oh yeah, didn't I build a baser? Is it my baser? I have a base. Don't I have a baser? Or did I get rid of it? I can't remember. It's been so long since I've played this game properly, like, then I took a big break from it. I don't remember anything. I don't remember anything about where I am. Are you gonna land or what? There we go. You crash landed and then you proper landed. Alright. You're just being weird now. I feel like I need to do something about all this, this rusted metal. Like, I'm collecting it all, but I don't feel like there's much a point in it. Like, I only need a little bit for a bit of emergency ferrite when I'm in those very, very rare situations where I just don't need one. Where, 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 there's, aunt, where there's no ferrite in the area and I need it, but, I mean, like, there's no point in me really having that as opposed to just more ferrite. Um, right. Let's have a look. Uh, let's go. I've got so much of this stuff. Right. Give you, yeah. I'm just gonna finish the rest of these off with um, uh, tech upgrades. I don't think I need this much tech, to be perfectly honest. But I have it, so. Uh -huh. Um, that's the the peak of my investment, right? Where did I get that thirty million from? Like, where could I possibly have gotten that? Um, you. That's that's what we're after. That's what we're still doing. And I'm going to go to that other system and claim a bunch of, um, there's another freighter over there. I'm going to go get that. I'm going to go get that other freighter. That's not going anywhere. I'm going to be very lucky with these freighters just being in the area, aren't I? Like, I ain't complaining here. I will absolutely just take this and go. Whoa, 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 relax. Yeah, it's a good thing. Uh, yeah, I'm not gonna miss this thing now, am I? Right. Um. Yeah, I'm gonna tick off all the uh, other freighters and stuff that we've got to deal with. So that'll all be nice. Um. Right, where are you? Let's have a look. What's the plan? Tell me the whole plan. We've got uns unsalvageable wreck. Okay. Media event. Distress signal broadcast. Date stamp 2499.8. I had a dream last night. I saw all the worlds we had once inhabited, all the places we had once walked, and there was nothing left of it. Just dunes, just sand and rot and mud, stretching as far as the eye could see. What do you mean rot? What if we don't come back? What if the Atlas decides we are no longer worthy of existence? It would be as if we had never been. Date stamp 2541.5. I tell the crew all that I have learned in my travels committing multiple acts of treason and heresy in the process. I ask them what they think, 
how they feel, and what they hope for. Date stamp 2531. The decision is unanimous. We will turn back. We will join with the Viking in their exodus, leaving the center to the worshippers of the Atlas. Oh. Perhaps we can still survive, even if the rest of our species perishes. Date stamp 2518.7. Something is happening. Please. So every species in the galaxy. The Corvax. Wait. Oh. Oh, wait. Because there's multiple of these, didn't there? And I didn't get the other one. Damn it. Uh, no crew activity detected. Searching logs. Read log. Date stamp 2499.8. The traveler found us once again. We have killed them eight times already. And still they show only kindness. Only gratitude as an opportunity to converse. Date stamp 25 uh, 2541.5. What have we done? I cannot help but feel. <sighs> Date stamp 2531. They tell us that they are not like the others of their kind, just as we are not like the others of our own species. They survived beyond the end of all things. They committed terrible deeds, of that they have no doubt. But what are ethics in the face of an existential fall? The same as they always are. Date stamp 2518.7. Universes come and go. Civilizations rise and they end. And through it all, the cycle continues. But even that must one day cease. Nothing lasts forever. Not even time itself. And in those final moments, in the decay of all that is or will be, the boundaries between worlds. I've been hearing quite a bit about boundaries. I do not think much of them. What on earth is going on here? What's going on here? Um, so yes, it would appear that every species in the galaxy, or in the, even in the universe, has been trying to find its way to the center of the galaxy, and the callbacks are the only ones that have stayed that course. With the Viking and maybe even the Gek. Ooh, look at that. I'll take that, hell yeah. Um, and even the Gek have decided to turn back around. Maybe try and leave the galaxy. Because the because the, the Atlas, whatever it is, could very well one day decide that life is boring. We need to find out what exactly the Atlas is. The Crimson Orb. Or the Crimson Eye, or whatever it is. The teleport coordinates, coordinates yeah. Yeah, the crimson, the crimson eye, and all that. What, what is the atlas? What, what, what are, what are the sentinels? Why do they exist? What do they do? Come on, there we go. There's a lot that we're going to discover, and I 100% intend to discover it. What exactly are the biological horrors? Cargo bucket. Woo! Wait. What? Auto expanding freighter module. Oh. A technology uh, module harvested from the remains of an abandoned freighter found floating in space may also be salvaged during freaking expedition. Pre packed nano expanders fill out this portable unit and graft it to an existing freighter, increasing its inventory uh, capacity. Apply it at your freighter's upgrade terminal. Lovely. I can do that. Um, I won't do that for a little while because I, like I said, I want to I wanna upgrade the cavalry and, and get a better ship completely, but we can upgrade our thing doing that. Alright. <clears throat> Let's go. Salvage data. Well, you're boring, aren't you? Buried cash. Cargo pod. Sure, if you say so. Salvage data. Okay. I think we're done here. Let's go. Alright. Let's despair. Let's do it. We know where the next drop pod is and we're going to go to it. Right over there. Do -do 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 
do 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 What on earth is going on here? Why are there recruitable frigates all over the damn place? Alright, whoa, 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 whoa. So, let me go over here first. We've got a rec recruitable frigate. No. Yeah, they, they, think they, they do this now. The, the whole... You are a mining vessel, which is very frustrating. Uh, I know that we are supposed to have several. Right, well, that's definitely not a combat frigate, is it? Actually, that's right. What is this thing? Right, see, this is where the problems start, mate. This is where the problems start, you know. Alright, what are you? Recruitable frigate. Let me know. Merchant vessel, yes. Mining vessel. The one that's all the way above there. And what are you? Are you another merchant vessel? Yeah, okay, alright. Um. Yeah, they just disappear like that because it's bloody weird. Right, um, whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, the, yeah they, they, they need to, they need to uh, fix that. It's just a bug recently where everything starts spawning in atmosphere and you can't even actually interact with them because of that. Oh, God damn it. Wait, is that my freighter? No, it's just a freighter. But is this freighter, like, good? All right, I'll speak to you in a bit, I guess. All right, we'll, we'll, we'll go into route with him. Maybe I can, maybe I can trick him into just coming over here and fighting the fleet, because the AI in this game would do that. All right, two hundred twenty-one thousand. Yeah. Right, where am I going? I need to not go this way. No, I'm going every possible wrong way that I could be going, which is always a good place to start. Righty then. Where on earth is the captain? Who am I speaking to? Oh, you're over here. Hello there, good sir. Captain. Uh. Uh. I don't know. Right. Oh, uh, you're a C class. You're a C class and you're rubbish. But you got better hyperdrive ranger than me, weirdly enough. Fleet coordination. I don't know what fleet coordination is supposed to do. Oh well. Let's go. Um. But like, yeah, like our freighter, by the way, is gonna have like every like every kind of resource. It's gonna have everything we need. It's gonna have like all kinds of plants and everything, because you can do that. You can create like um, uh, hostile subsurface scan failed. Well, yeah, obviously, I'm inside a bloody fleet. That we're never gonna work. Um, why have I got no? I've got, I was gonna say I've got no speed. All right, there you go. Now, now, now we've improved. Right, so where are we going then? I guess we're just going over here. Yeah, sure. Why not? I feel like I should put some Mass Effect music on, but like not one that we normally listen to. Not like one that's out of my playlist, you know? Then again, Crash Landing is not in my playlist, but I just, it's, I feel like, I feel like I should put Mass, I, I feel like I should put Crash Landing in my playlist because it's, like, I listen to it enough, <laughs> but it's just not in my playlist. Like, I have to keep playing it every time. I have to keep, like, looking at, looking that one up specifically. Because I'm an idiot who doesn't always put things in the playlist. Right. Uh, that means I want you. Uh, whoa, wait a second. What is the about? Okay, right. Um, cool, let's go. Uh, 
It's right behind me, isn't it? Oh no, it's, it's right up there. You know, one of these days, I can absolutely see a fleet like this just coming out and then just opening fire. Like, like we have like a reputation system in the game or something like that, where like all the enemies just decide to rise. So that's science. Um, got a science vessel over there, merchant vessel, whatever this thing is. What is this like? Nope, that's a merchant vessel. That, that's a merchant vessel right there. Uh, that looks to me like a mining vessel, but I guess I will investigate it. Okay. It's fine. There's nothing there's nothing useful for us here. This is the same ship as before. We don't need this. Um, yeah, alright. Well, let's get down there, shall we? Like, mate, I'm carrying this uh, twisted orb in my inventory, right? Like, I just want the Leviathan to, like, spawn out of nowhere. You know, like, for, like, Mass Effect 3. Like, I just want all of a sudden I'm just cruising along and all of a sudden that thing just appears in front of me and just be like, and just demands tribute in the form of my existence. Um, right. Uh, like, I, like, I, like I'm, I'm carrying, I'm carrying it around with me. Um, in the hopes that, like, something happens one day. But that's the thing, is that, like, I'm pretty sure that that's just supposed to be super... St I'm pretty sure what they're banking on with that is that you buy it, or, or like, you, you collect it, and then you sell it immediately. Are we about to crash or what? Um, I guess, I guess we're about to crash. Uh, don't really know what to make of this. Don't, don't really know what to do about this. Uh, huh. right. Oh, everything's crashed. Okay. Um. Oh, well, I guess we'll leave it a minute. Why not? Oh, everything's crashed. Yep, cool. I'm sure that'll do something in a moment. Well, cool, I guess. I mean, I mean, it means it's, we know it's saved, I suppose. All right, well, do you know what? I suppose that means it's a good, it's good enough time uh, as any to leave it. Alrighty then, the time has come for me to depart. If there any games you'd like to see me play, feel free to suggest them down in the comments. I'll see you guys in the next one, and have a splendid full day. But before we disappear, we are going to raid. So, let's get Twitch open and see who's on, shall we? I would say, assume we've got the raids open. Let's raid Raskel. Uh, sure. Then again, Har then again, Harry is on uh, the Callisto Protocol. Given the fact that I played the Callisto Protocol, and I don't, have to worry, I don't, uh, I can't use spoilers as an excuse. Let's raid Harry. Let's see what he's got. 
Let's 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 see what he's 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 up to. Um, yet again, yet again, our our uh, yet again today's um, uh, 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 graphic designer has again unfollowed. Uh, that's absolutely fine. Uh, nope, that's not who I meant to raid. Um, no, he's got no, he's got, but you. No, no, right. No, I'm not accepting this. Right. Dauntless Terrier. There we go. Right. So, I don't know why, but I can't scroll through my raid, through the, the potential channels for me to raid. He just didn't show up in the raid list, and I had to search him up manually. But here we go. I'm not giving up. He's live. I'm doing it. Here we go. Second viewer in the chat. We're going to raid one of my mates. Here we go. Callisto Protocol. Don't know if you're interested. Let's go. Start raid. Ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, 